Hello, viewers of Number Productions. I come with you with a solemn message uh, that our own John Markham will be moving to Missouri. So we usually do a happy birthday videos celebrating, but now we're doing a sad farewell to John Markham. So sit back and relax for the first of three videos that we will be saying goodbye to John Markham with. And in this one, in the upcoming clips that you're going to see is our stories and times we've had with John Markham. We're going to talk about behind the scenes filming with him and stories about him on the set, how obnoxious he was and how much of a hassle he was, and how much uh, life will be better and our productions will be without him. Just kidding. Enjoy and grab some popcorn and uh, bring some tissue too. You might, a lot of, you might cry. So the first time I met John was at a Halloween party. He didn't really say much, I didn't really get to know him. He just kind of sat in the corner and stared at all the girls in the party. But the second time I met him, we were having a discussion and Zach got brought up. There was something going on, Zach was having a problem. And John just goes, knowing Zach, it's all his fault, probably. He's just, he's just an idiot. And I thought he was serious. I did not know John. I thought he was just talking crap about Zach behind his back. So I was like, I don't know if I like this kid or not, because I thought he was talking crap about Zach. Then I come to find out that that's just how they are, and John likes to make your mom jokes to Zach, and Zach gets mad, and it's just, that's their relationship. But this is just for John's, Markham's, he's leaving. So just uh, make sure, just give a moment that you had with him. That's all you have to do. Jim Wallace? Are you talking no, about? No, John Markham. Remember we did a couple videos with him, Gas Expensive? Who are you talking about? He's moving to Missouri. Montana? He's going no, to Badlands? Yeah, no, Missouri. He's moving. Mississippi? No. Uh, remember he did Gas Expensive with us? He did a couple videos. I don't even know you're talking We've about. hung out with him before. What? You sure? I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. The guy is... John Marcus? Markham. Markham? Yeah. Markham? He has the beard. Still He thinks he's cool. I'm the dry. guy that thinks he's cool, he wears wife beaters all the time. I have no idea you're talking wow. about. He did not leave. Yeah, he did not leave a lasting impression. Yeah, all, I get that. People, I guess, I've heard a lot about that lately. Now you see a long road. The road less taken, Robert Frost said. Where are we at? This is where the Gas Expensive Trilogy started with me, Craig Koblen, and Mr. Uh, leaving All of Us, John Markham. John Markham did uh, great work here. And uh, I'd like to point out something really funny. Uh, can you zoom in, cameraman? Cameraman, can you zoom in over there? There's a... Uh, solar panels. Solar panels. If that's not ironic, I don't know what is. So, See, gas the, the gas The gas is too expensive. That so they had to install solar panels. They have to, yeah. One of the one of the, something funny that happened here with John while we were filming was we were on the road and Craig had to keep driving back and forth over here and we were over on this road uh, just chilling and on this road a tiny little cat kept coming out and disrupting the shoot and uh, by the at the first it was funny and a cute little blooper and then by the fifth time that blooper's up you can still see me getting very visibly upset that the cat was interrupting us. They chased it away so, uh, multiple times. We didn't like the cat. Uh, so it all started here, baby. Gas expensive. We didn't know it was going to be so big, making a dang movie out of it. But John Markham, he also spit blue blood. I bet it's. I bet his blood is still up here, laying on the street. Lead blue. Craig got shot here. Lead blue. A lot of, a lot of smurf. A lot of smurf blood was. A lot of smurf lives. We're lost here. There you go. And that's the story of gas expensive location. Hey John, so rumor is you're moving away. 
it's kind of sad so we're all making this video for you to remember the good times and maybe some of the not so good times uh, we've known each other for quite a long time we first met in seventh grade you know went through high school and everything after that together so I guess if I'd have to say my fondest moment with John if anything would be ninth grade art class yeah that's right buddy do you remember that deal we made do you remember that deal in ninth grade art class that if one of us died the other one had to do something special at the other one's funeral do you remember that at all because i remember i've been telling myself every day let's take a look at what that might turn out to be John, I can't believe this day is here, but you know, I'm a man of my word, so, woo, woo, John, uh, John, oh, why'd you, you're so young, John, why, why, John, why, why, John, shh, shh, you're dead, John, John's a John's a cool guy. He's he's a person. He um I don't I don't know him that well, but I we had a few car rides together. Um made a couple videos, you know. I just knew he made fun of Zach a lot and I, that was kind of funny, but other than that, I, I really don't have anything else. So John Markham. What can I say about that guy? My uh, quick question though, what's your favorite kind of music? Mine's I don't know. But in all seriousness, my favorite John moment, my favorite slash least favorite would be the time we were about 12, 12, 13 years old in our Pokemon era. We decided, it thought it would be a fantastic idea in the middle of summertime at about 90 degree heat and not having any air conditioner in his house to get up underneath his bed, I was stuck up in there against the wall and then it was him. We thought that would be a nice idea to go play Pokemon under there. So we go up under there, we're there for about you know, five, 10 minutes. He decides to let the hugest fart go. First it was funny, then it just was not funny. It started getting really bad and stunk. Really, really, really bad under there. I proceeded to punch him and kick him as hard as I possibly can, screaming at the top of my lungs, trying to lift the bed off of me. That was my favorite, least favorite John Marmot. I, 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 and to think of back on it, it was so stupid, but I laughed so hard. The only memory I really have with John Markham is that he kidnapped me. That's all I can really remember. Another thing I remember about John is I always used to, uh, he had a work phone for a little bit at, uh, at his work and I always called it. And he told me to only use it during emergencies. And you can get that. He always told me to use it during emergencies only. And I always, uh, I always made sure to call him every day because that shows I care and I love about him. Care him, uh, I care about him and love him. And I did a couple times where I would call his work phone first. He always wouldn't get mad if I'd call the regular phone first and then the work phone. But he lost that ball. Or he would, he wouldn't be mad if I called the mobile phone and then the work phone. But I would always call the work phone mobile phone to show that I really wanted to always talk to him. Kind of like a sign of respect to him. And uh, one day I did that, and uh, this is multiple times, but this is the first time it made me laugh. I called his uh, work phone first, mobile phone, work phone mobile, and I didn't get a, I, I didn't hear anything until maybe 10 minutes later. I got a call back from uh, him, and instead of just saying anything or talking about how I called him, he instantly went to cuss words were spilling out of his mouth that didn't make sense. There was an F word, D word, D word, F word, A word, uh, Q word, he made up a new one, uh, K word, 
he uh, just a bunch of stuff was flooding out of his mouth and uh it made me really laugh a lot because uh you could just feel the anger and i guess he was angry because he had he was angry at his past self for not having me as a friend before and uh he could have always done that if he would just known who i was and he was i think that's what what that meant there was other times i kept doing that and he would on several occasions he would not even have a discussion with me he would just cuss a lot cuss cuss and then hang up on me because he was so mad that i would call that work phone when he told me not to but i think it was a trick it was just he was going to see how long i would care for him so that's a good one i think probably one of the greatest moments we've ever had together was actually pretty recently we uh and I had forgotten about this until a couple days ago when he reminded me, but we were at the gym, uh, the uh, World Gym up at 747, and we were on a bench press or something, and I think I had just finished the set, and uh, I say to John, and I, I kind of pull my, my legs like back over my head, and I like pull my butt cheeks apart, and <laughs> I said, John! I've got Mercer on my anus. And, uh, never again will I, uh, have such a, a moment. That, that was it, man. That was something else. I took the cake right there. So, uh, yeah. Here's to you, John. Love you, man. You got a mission. Hope to see you soon. Be good. The fan story is probably one of my favorite John Markham uh, moments that I've had with him. And uh, it occurred here, right where this uh, green screen is at. We were all chilling out here, and uh, it was me, Alex Moore, Craig Coblin, and John Markham. And we were filming on a. We tried to do this green screen thing over here with a tablecloth. I think three just taped together with duct tape uh, right here where the garage is at. That didn't work at all. We were very hot in here, uh, screwing with that, and we had one fan in here. There's no air conditioning in this garage. It's very hot. I can deal with heat. Uh, someone who can't is John Markham, and John had to keep telling, reminding us to turn the fan on when we were done trying to you know, mess with the green screen and take like test shots. So John uh, is sweating, he has a wife beater on, he is sweating buckets, and he looks at me, he's really mad at this point, and he's like, Zach, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to turn the fan on. Uh, I decide to be very funny, uh, make a little joke, and I look over at him, and I turn, and I say, guys, I'll turn the fan on if you can answer this riddle. What rhymes with bear, but when you turn on the side, it dries things. So, Craig says, chair, Alex says, air, and John Markham proceeds to look at me and scream, Zach, turn on the freaking fan! Except he didn't say freaking, he said the other word. He was very upset, we all laughed at him, and uh, we had to turn on the fan at that point because uh, he was about to die. I'll tell you what, John Markham, interesting character, the first night I met him, uh, we, we went to his house, we, we were filming a, a video for our productions, and uh, well, you know, I was hungry, you know, fat guys gotta eat, so I go to his freezer, you know, and man, like, one of my favorite things of all time is okra, I don't know why, I just love okra, and I didn't know they sold it in the stores, so you can imagine how excited I was to know that my friend, John Markham, he had okra in his freezer, you know. I opened up the freezer, I'm freaking out, you know, because I'm pumped. Freaking okra, you know. Who knew you could buy it in the store? I didn't. Also, he had hash browns. Who doesn't like hash browns? I was about to make them right there on the spot. You know what? No. What does this guy do? He'd be, he's selfish. He's, he, I think he had just gotten married. You know, he's selfish with his money. Like, oh, Megan's going to freak out. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you can't eat the okra. Like, what the heck? Who are you? You know? You act like, you know, it's your okra. Anyway. And then, I wait. He pulled a knife. John, you're crazy, dude. You pulled a knife on me, man. You, you know what? 
I, I can't even do this right now. So John Markham, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed hearing the laughs and the, the great times we've shared together and the great impact you've had on these people's lives. It's been fun with you here in Ohio, but now you must embark in a new journey, a new Nobber Productions 2. Start that up in Missouri. See if you can get some people together and make some funny vids or something like that. Thank you for all the times. I have one last thing I want to say. John Markham, you have been a great friend to me. You have also, we're going to continue being friends, but uh, I'm not going to see you except on Skype a lot, so we're just going to be virtual buddies from now on. So you're not my best friend anymore, you're like my second. You're like a virtual friend, is what's gonna happen. Um, I wanted to say that through everything, uh, you have been, you've given 150% towards Zombie Productions. You have helped us, thank you so much. I wanna give one last good story about him. For a gas expense of three, John Markham spent every single day he had day, oh, I keep, every day that he had a day off, during filming in that summer, he spent it filming instead of. Look at this. I don't know what's about to happen. We're about to get. The gangs are coming up here. They heard John Markham's leaving. They had an impact on their lives too. Friday and Saturdays, every day on the weekend, he was here. Um, during Gas Expensive, he got really sick on the. It was the last day we were filming for the fight scene. And he came up and got up and was ready and got ready after he got sick, really bad sick that morning and finished the final fight. Thank you for that. I wouldn't even done that some, for somebody. So that means a lot. And I've enjoyed working with you on the videos. I hope you, I pass on the torch to you. You got an iPhone now, make some funny vids, make some funny cat vids, do stuff like that. And thank you for all the work you've given Knob Productions. We would not be the same without you. Good sir. Man, it's getting windy. Yep. That's the, the earth crying. I think that's what it is. So, thank you. And goodbye. Dog bit on that. Can't even use that. Hi, this is Jedi Master Jizzle. I'm just patrolling the streets trying to keep the galaxy safe for the little kids and the ladies. We occasionally get some Sith trash, but uh, it's usually a pretty safe neighborhood. Oh. This guy. No, I'm serious. Dude, dude, look. Look behind you, dude. Seriously. No, I don't care. Look behind. Dude, I think he's kidnapping Kyle. No, dude, look. You're a monster. You're not married. I never 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 married. I